Hello all and welcome to our two day adventure. We've got two nights booked in the Wooden Lodge. We've got mooching, we've got catch and cook videos, we've got four hunting, we've got shooting, we've got carp fishing and we've just got general mooching. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome to our two day adventure. You join me at the log cabin for the weekend. We have the carp lake out there, it's my oldest daughter hoping she gets a bite. We're going to try some catch and cook trout in a bit. We're going to have a mooch. We're going to chop some forks. Uh, and we're here till Monday. It's only Saturday morning now. So you're here with us. What happens, happens. Well, so far, no fish from the carp lake. We've been fishing about an hour, an hour and a half. So what we're gonna do now is have a bit of breakfast and get ready to go down to the trout lake and see if we can catch ourselves some supper for later. Daddy, daddy. What? <coughs> daddy stings? <coughs> good kid? Yeah. Tasty? Good, good. Little man's up, I think he smelt the sausage. <laughs> we had any bites on that yet? Come on, I'm still waiting for a fish. Baby John? Honey, honey. You want some? There you go. And me. <laughs> Shall we go and catch some fish? Yeah. Yeah? Shall we eat the fish? Yeah. Yeah? Do you eat it like that? <laughs> Can't beat a bit of bacon, can you, bite? Mama. Yeah? This is mummy's, yeah. Mummy's! Disgusting! <laughs> You're a legend, aren't you? So we did not know look on the carp front, as of yet. It's still mid-morning, so we're going to head on over to the trout lake now. Just a little mooch for the lions to the trout lake. See if we can find a couple of catapult forks, and mainly, see if we can catch a trout for dinner. So we're here now. I'm hoping there's a few trout in there. Um, we stopped at the bakery on the way to get a cake because we felt a bit peckish as normal. So we're going to get down here now, I've got to get myself down that bank. Hopefully we can get ourselves a few small trout. We've just seen a trout attack some fry there. So they are in there. to the fish. <laughs> Thank you. 
wipes the dust. Go to your end, don't worry. Get ready, yeah? Right, like face it. Get ready, quick. Dinner, we're relying on you. Go on, lift him up. Right. Don't let him jump because he'll slip the up. Right, let's reel a little bit. Right, now I need you to bring him to the next mate. Here we go, here we go. Yay! Your dinner, you did a good job. Right, two in the nest. I think that's it now, isn't it? Let's go. Dinner's done. We got two trout. We caught a couple, then the shoal spooked off and there wasn't to be seen again, but we got two, so that's dinner sorted for today. Happy days. was bloody awesome. Back on the car plank now. Got the rod there, cradling net there ready. I'll take a carp of any size before we leave. Um, what a beautiful lake this is though, look at that. An old estate lake situated in some beautiful scenery down mid Wales. You got the boathouse over there and the bridge going onto the island. We'll have another look at that tomorrow. You got the old dam wall across there. Just a beautiful setting, beautiful place. So if this rod can go, fingers crossed, we can have a carp. I've moved around the other side of the lake. I've actually got carp feeding off the top. It's pretty close to zero degrees in January. I cannot believe it. They're on the top. This is unheard of. Right, we're gonna try our best. We've got about 10, 15 minutes of light. So the pressure's really on because you can't fish after dark and the owner's lodge is only over there. So the pressure's on. It's carp feeding off the top right in front of me. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me on camera, yeah? Mm-hmm. Good job. Right, the battery's just died on my camera, so I've got my eldest daughter to come round with a phone. Don't think it's the biggest fish, but it's a fish. If you can get us in clipping the fish. Right, jump back a little bit. It's only a tiny one, but it's an estate like carp off the surface in January. Come on. How's that? We've had one, and if you look behind me, they're still feeding on the top, but we've had one of these estate like carp. Hey, he's a bit of a slippy one, this one. Slippy little fella, so we're gonna get him straight back. But we've had one. So we've had a couple of trout earlier, now we've had a carp. I reckon we've literally got five or ten minutes of light left. And there looks to be a bigger one feeding out there. So let's have another go. Go. Yes, right, keep it line tight. Good girl, good job. Oh dear. Stop, steady. Right, let's tighten that up a bit. This could be a big one, do you want me to have him? No. Right, reel. My baby. Right, right, reel and keep the rod this way. Like that, and he'll come out. Sorry about the amateur footage, she's going towards a snag. Reel in, go reel, reel, reel. Reel. And then pull in with the rod, let the rod not too fast, it's nice and easy. 
Nice and easy, so only a light ride. He's coming out and then reel now while I put the rod down. Okay, then pump him a little bit. What does that mean? Nice and easy, pull him up. Don't try and pull his head off. <laughs> okay, right, he's out in the open now, so hold the rod up. Okay, now you just keep him there. I've got him out the snag. Good angling girl. You can't find him, probably because he's under the water. Now hold him nice and steady, just give him a bit of pressure. What does that mean? Let's have a look at you doing. Skills, nice and easy. Come on then, hold him tight. Hold him tight. Steady, not yet. He's a good one, isn't he? He's a common calf. Oh, he's tangled round his fin, you got him? Yep. Got him. Oh, know, nice him. one. Well done. I'm going to call him Michael. Give me five. Michael. Fish off the top. It's not a PB for you, but what would you say that is? Six? Well, unfortunately, Kizzy's fish was the last fish of the night. We managed to get a couple of carp out within the last half hour of light, so we can't grumble. It's now the next day, the Sunday morning. It's quarter to eight on the morning now it's just getting light uh, i've come out on the mooch the rain is absolutely shocking we've got 50 mile an hour winds with up to 70 mile an hour gusts i'm on my own today obviously the little ones or the other half didn't want to come out early mooching in this weather and to be honest i can't blame them i didn't want to do it myself but with the way the trout fishing went and then we got a carp you know something's on my side this video we've everything we've wanted to do catch and cook trout we've got we wanted to get in the steak lake carp we got two uh we want to come out on the mooch now the plan is see if we can find a pigeon a rabbit a squirrel and then do another catch and cook in this video as well um, I'm on my own, it's, like I say it's still early, it's that early when I come down from the lake just all the pheasants were still roosting up in the trees, I counted about 15 to 20 pheasants within about a 100 metre stretch obviously they're off my list, I don't touch pheasants, won't shoot them, I haven't for a couple of years but I'm going for a rabbit, a pigeon or a squirrel or something Well the weather's still atrocious but I found this little river so I wouldn't mind having a bit of a walk up that just got to find a way into it it's not good news, the weather is getting the better of me. I was just going to have a little walk down the river, I've got out the car, the wind is shocking. Uh, it's absolutely tipping down now, it's really bad. Um, I don't mind personally having a mooch in the rain, I've done it loads of times, I've got my waterproofs and my boots, it's fine. The issue I have is I'm not able to get the camera out because all my camera equipment gets wet and I don't want to cock it up basically. Uh, so my plan is now, I'm going to go back to the lodge, I'm going to have a bit of breakfast uh, and I'm going to assess the situation in an hour's time or in a couple hours time. Uh, I will 100% be getting out on the mooch to see what it's about, it's just with this weather like this uh, it's not practical for me to be out and film. Hello gentlemen. Hello, sir. He's waiting for his feeder to be fed. There he is, look. There's a few in there. That's how your feeders have just been fed, boys. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> well, as you probably guessed, it's dried up now. The weather is a million times better. I'm just on my way out for a mooch. Uh, the wind's dropped. Everything is drying out, and uh, well, hopefully we can get some forks and have a little mooch now. Hey, finally a bit of decent weather. It's been bad since about half eight till about twelve o'clock. It's about quarter past twelve now, but it has been <laughs> bad to say the least. The trees have been bending, little flash floods everywhere. We're just on our way down this little bumpy dirt path now, and uh, we'll find somewhere to have a mooch. Look at the river. We're going to have a walk up it now. It's absolutely. Beautiful here. Not seen a single person in this little village. Absolutely silent. Beautiful scenery. Absolutely beautiful place. I bet there's some fish in there too. Should have brought a rod. Be some fish down in the deeps there, kicking off all the natural foods that are being washed through. 
Well, things you find on the mooch. This is in memory of David Lloyd George. God bless his soul. I have no idea who it is and I can't read because it's in Welsh. But what a beautiful spot. Let's have a little look round here. Some old deer from the village just told me I can walk round here and stuff. Wow, right, look at this for a setting. The daffodils coming up round the edges. Spring's just round the corner. Says I can go down there across the bridge and have a moose round. But wow, this is epic, this place. Really wish I'd brought a little landline or something and uh, had a look at me. I dare say I'd been some wild trout through this little river. No idea what river it is, where it comes from, where it goes. I stumbled across this little place almost by luck, but yeah. What a little place, what a little place. So we've been walking for about another 10 or 15 minutes now. I've got out of the way of the little village and stuff, still following the water. A bit more um, out the way from everybody now, just woodland everywhere. When out on the mooch looking for natural forks, I'd always recommend when you see piles like this of already fell trees, have a rummage through them and have a look. Not only are you not damaging any live trees, these forks are almost certainly near enough dried out and ready to work. So we're gonna have a quick look through here now, see if we can grab ourselves one. Thoughts on this please, ladies and gentlemen? Is it an old wall of some sort? Or is it just the way it's been put down? I'm guessing it's some type of old wall. As you can see, it carries on. This is another perfect spot for the fish. You've got the main flow of the river out there and you get this little slag bit that comes through the side. And I can't even see the bottom there, it's nice and deep. You can almost be certain that there will be fish holding in here. You know, it's just a little slack part of the river that forks off from the main bit. Definitely, 100% there'll be fish in there. There's another little inflow to the main body of water here. Goes through, runs underneath those steps. And down into there. Very slippy. You've got a big body of water down there, moving down, making a right racket. I don't think the camera's quite picking up how noisy it is here. So the vegetation is changing now. There's lots more live little trees and I would say <laughs> normal trees full of life. Down the other end there was all dead and rotten trees and there was just like moss on the ground. We're actually going into like a proper forest type thing now. So with a lot more life to it. I reckon we might well find some pigeons, some rabbits, uh, squirrels. There might be something up here. I have seen a couple, but everything I've seen has spooked from a long way away, so I'm not too confident, not too confident at all, but you have to be in it to win it, and if we're not here having a go, we definitely ain't going to get something. As long as I'm here with a catapult in my pocket, there's always a chance. Loads of these little white flowers, can anybody tell me what they are? They look like a type of bell, like the blue bell, but obviously the white, so they're not blue bells. They go for as far as the eye can see absolutely everywhere millions and millions of them not bad for the end of january and i've also spotted a big old yew tree up there so let's go and have another look i've been walking for about an hour up the stream now as you can probably guess by the flow of the water i've turned around i haven't really done too much looking for forks or getting in the woodland looking for any game or anything to be honest i've just simply enjoyed the beautiful walk on the way back down now, we're going to get in the woodland a bit and uh, see what's about. Hopefully find a couple of forks. I just like one for my own collection as a little keep safe. Uh, but yeah, stumbled upon this little bit of natural beauty. And uh, not me, the river and the land. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a bit bad on foot. But it's just, it's just beautiful out here. Now look at these. What, what do you reckon this line of rocks is for? Look, there's two rocks each side. Looks like they're trying to do, divert a stream or something. I think there's a lot of history about this place with that big um, remembrance plaque at the bottom with the old walls that I think I've found well not found, I never found them but the old walls that I've seen and just the way it is, it, I'm sure there's some history about it I have no idea but I'm sure there's there's a lot, lot to be said about this little village and this place I'm going to leave it all as I found it minus the odd squirrel <laughs> hopefully but uh 
really, really is nice. Beautiful little walk. Um, what time are we on now? We're on about one o'clock now. I'll be back in the lodge by about two, quarter past two. Uh, I'm going to have an hour's fishing for the carp again later as well. But first of all, I got this little kit here to review, which is the Moochin hack thing that uh, Ben Priestman does over at HTH. So we're going to get away from the stream because it's a bit noisy. And uh, I'm going to show you it because it really, really is a great bit of kit. First time I've used it today and uh, I don't think I'd go on a mooch without it now. Well, I just found my first fork. What a beautiful fork that one is. So uh, we'll get the saw out and we'll nip that one off. Happy days, that's all I wanted. Stunner. That can go straight in. Jack pipe. Back pocket. Out the way because I haven't got a bag with me. So in she goes. And up she goes. Good stuff. Let's go. Now we've got a bit of kit I want to review for you today. Ben Priestman kindly sent me one of these HTH mooching packs absolutely fantastic simply clips on clips off first time i've ever used one today and to be honest i don't think i'd not use one again um, this is one of them products that somebody sends you you review it and it's like wow why did i not have one um, genuinely i genuinely mean that basically it's all hands free straps on open it up pad oh, fault saw all to hand front got Car keys securely fixed, loads of ammo and stuff, and there's plenty more room in it. It's absolutely fantastic for the kit. You know, the way your catapult comes in and out of the pocket, if you need your saw and you get in a natural, just in and out. Um, it's very well made, zips, very robust. You can tell by looking at them, it's a quality, you know, bit of kit. Comes with Ben's HTH logo there, uh, and it's just ideal for on the boot, you know. It looks good as well, doesn't it? Da -da. <laughs> but yeah, uh, appreciate it Ben, I'd, I'd never get nowhere without it, I genuinely mean that. Sometimes with products, you can review them, they're good products, but you might not use them again. I've reviewed loads of stuff that I genuinely won't use again. This, this is my buddy from the Mooch now, and if ever anything should happen to it, or I lose it or break it, I'll be straight on you to get another. <laughs> but um, yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Three shots at the Pepsi can up in the tree, and yes it's a Pepsi can. I knocked the beer on the head new year, 26 days in so far without a beer. So if we can do 26 days, surely we can do all year, eh? Straight for the centre of it. And again, like in the GZK Green, you can get these from my eBay, 0.66 bands, 25 to 20 taper. Powerful, Acura, long lasting, Gamekeeper slash Catapult UK to seller or links in the description. Hit me up, get your GZK bands. <laughs> as well as the GZK green band sets, we also sell the black band sets in the same thickness, equally as good. We also sell Theraband band sets in singles or doubles, catapults, DIY kits, pouches, accessories, all that type of stuff. Uh, all the links to our stuff are in the description. So be sure to check them out if you want anything, we offer a wide range. Uh, we also do all our metal work, which are commissioned to Pete Hogan. Basically Pete has permission to sell all my metal designs, and I get a percentage of the commission. So if you want any of our metal catapults, the link will also be in the description under Pro Shot Catapults. Let's see if we can put an hole for the middle of that leaf. Well, is that centre enough for you? Take it off. Actually, it the centre bead of it. That good enough for you? Have it. <laughs> you can see there, look. Right for the middle. And while I'm talking to you, 
Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and you'll never have to miss another episode again. Um, it means a lot, every subscriber, each and every one of you. Uh, this is our first catch and cook video, and it's of a fish. <laughs> We was after something else, but I don't mind not getting nothing from here. I think this beautiful place where I'm at now is best left exactly how it is, because there's not many places like this left around the world. This beautiful, and you know, what's not been battered by buildings or anything. It's just, you know, it's a place, it's like a little place in heaven, this. So I'm not too bothered if we ain't got nothing here. It's been beautiful to see. But um, we have some plans for a load more catch and cut this year. You know, squirrel, rabbit, pigeon other stuff and basically out and about uh, I think we're gonna do more of these weekend type things where we can get a lot in uh, it's been dark quite early on the nights this time and the weather's been against us but I'm definitely gonna have a few more weekends away filming and doing stuff like making proper good what I think were proper good you might not think so let me know if you don't think they are now that can be improved but making some more lengthy detailed things catch cook hunting mooching just out in the field um, so that's what that's what I want to be doing out in the field that type of stuff that's why I ain't been to the shoot this year at the beginning the Welsh one I don't think I'm doing any of the shoots this year to be honest just lost a bit of interest in them uh, I've sort of been there and done it for the last nine years I think I've won pretty much every title there is numerous times I've won some like seven ten meter events I think it's five 20 meter events four field events long distance I've won I've won the Natural Comp a couple of times, I've won Jumbo Challenge three times, I've won the Heavy Metal, I've won Speed Shooting, I've won Chatsworth Comp, I've won Midlands Comp, I've won the Polo Shoot, you know, there's, they've just lost interest in it, I've been there, done it, and won everything there is several times, so I don't think you'll see me at any of the shoots this year, but what you will see is me out and about in the field, because this, look, this is me, out and about filming, catching, cooking, eating, mooching, shooting, poaching, no, no poaching that's bad and all that type of stuff so uh yeah hit that subscribe button because we got a lot to come i'm back where i started now the car's only five minutes down the road so we're gonna go there if anybody can tell me anything about this or about the history of the land here and stuff because uh, i know nothing about it like i say i can't read welsh david lloyd george obviously very important person to this area nice to know the ins and outs of it um all I took from here was one natural fork for myself for a bit of memorabilia for me to keep. Uh, nothing was shot at game wise. I've seen some other forks along the way but I didn't take them. I thought this would just be best left exactly how it is. It's lovely and you want to leave it just as you found it apart from the one fork which I pinched. But um, yeah, we're off now. Well, I'm off now back up to the log cabin or lodge, whatever you want to call it. Wooden log cabin lodge type thing. <laughs> um, I have no idea what the time is, I'm guessing it's about 2 after 2 on the afternoon, like I said, I haven't got my phone, I've totally lost track of time, I think I've walked for about an hour each way. Um, so nice to be down there with no phone, cut off from everybody though, it's just, you know, a nice bit of time. Uh, what have I got planned for today? I'm going to go back have a little quick snack of lunch, or light lunch shall I say. Then if I can get the carp feeding on the carp lake, uh, on the top, I'll keep flicking some freebies out. If I can get them feeding, I'll have another go. Uh, I've got to be wrapped up showered and shirted up for about six o'clock tonight so we're off down to the nice little village down the road to have a sunday roast because it's sunday now i think it's the 26th or 27 26 it is sunday the 26th of january yeah so we're gonna head down the road nice little place there's a good carvery proper old-fashioned pub set in this beautiful scenery and um yeah that's it so i'll see you back at the carp lake peace out right then back on the estate lake put some bread out and like clockwork the carp are back on it so we're going to see if we can get us one off the top
so it's the final morning now. I had about 10 or 11 carp off the top last night. The biggest being around six pounds, so didn't even bother using the footage. Um, but it was a good sport, especially taking them off the top in January. It's our final morning now, so we're just packing up and leaving. But what a beautiful day now, look at this. Almost flat calm, sun's coming through. It's about four or five degrees warmer. But when your time's up, your time's up. Uh, if you like this sort of video, don't forget to comment, like, and most of all, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. We've got a few of these trips planned up. I was talking to the other half last night, we're going to go to Wave in the next month for another two day. Uh, get a bit of game on the catch and cook in the next one. A bit more fishing and the same sort of stuff, general mooching. We're going to head to a different part of the country for a couple of nights and do the same again. So yeah, um, hit me up with the comments, drop the likes in and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.